the top two stories of our house collapsed after the very first tremor. It was so fast I can't even describe it. I have I don't have many scratches on my body, but it hurts. I have a lot of back pain, said by Ram to the Earthquake Rescue Committee. Good evening, everyone. I am Florence Sira Gomez. We are going to present our group presentation on earthquakes and earthquake destruction. Now I will give you a brief description on this presentation. We all already have heard about earthquake, but we rarely know the proper way of defining earthquake. So earthquake is the vibration of earth caused by the sudden release of energy stored in the rocks. Most importantly, it occurs at the fault and along plate edges. There are important terms we should know. Our focus, which is also called hypocenter and epicenter. Focus is the location and epicenter. Focus is the location under the surface where earthquakes nucleus it starts and spread all around. Epicenter is the point on earth surface that is directly above the focus. Now, of course, there is a question rising on your mind that why earthquakes happen. There are three major causes. The first cause is surface cause, which includes man-made and natural causes like nuclear explosions, slip on steep coast, removal or addition of fluids to well, and many other. Now comes volcanic cause. This is caused due to the movement of magma within the volcano. This actually happens for the increase in pressure. The most important cause is tectonic cause. The arch crust is made up of several pieces called plates. The plates are three types, convergent, divergent, and transform. When two plates are running into or sliding past each other, seismic activities take place. Now, this is a well-known theory by Harry Fielding rate called elastic rebound theory. Here we can see in the image how due to the stress and then strain, then energy release caused the earthquake. Now I'm handing over to my fellow mate, Naushada Sansar, to continue. Assalamu alaikum and good evening everyone. Myself, Naushada Sansar. The topics I'll be discussing on are the seismic waves, Richter scale, and Markle intensity scale. Seismic waves originate from the focus of the quake and travels throughout the Earth's interior and surface, carrying body and surface waves in general. Body wave is the wave that travels to uh, travels through the Earth's interior and is the fastest to respond to a seismogram station, and it is in two segments which are called primary wave and secondary wave. Primary wave appears as a compressional wave that forces the rock to move back and forth parallel. And it is the fastest of the waves with a speed of four to seven kilometers per second. And then, and then is the secondary wave, which is the second fastest, it, uh, if a bit slower, two to five kilometers per second transverse wave that is uh, that uh, travels through near surface propagated by shearing motion. Primary wave is the compressional wave and the secondary wave it moves perpendicular to the propagation of the wave. And then you come to the surface waves that are the slowest set off by the earthquakes, but they cause the most of the damage because they travel more slowly, producing more ground movement. Two segments of them are love wave and relay wave. Mostly like S waves, love wave, mostly like S waves, <clears throat> Mostly like S waves, love waves have no vertical displacement, but the ground moved side to side, and it is perpendicular to the propagation. Rayleigh wave behaves like rolling ocean, causing uh, causing ground movement in an elliptical path opposite to the wave propagation. Rayleigh wave is incredibly destructive because it takes much longer time, and that causes more ground movement, and it knocks off the buildings, the foundations, constructions. And it's more dangerous to us. And then we come to the Richter scale. And then we come to the Richter and Markle intensity scale. Richter scale is the one that uh, determines the magnitude of the earthquake, and Markle intensity scale is the intensity. Thank you very much. Now I'm handing over to my mate, Gobinda Boshak Rahul. Good evening, everyone. Myself is Gobinda Boshak. In the slide, we can see some clear evidence of the effects of earthquakes such as ground shaking, surface rupture, landslides, tsunamis, liquefaction, and fire destruction. All the evidence proves that earthquake causes a lot of injuries and loss of lives. We studied some. We studied about some earthquake cases 
Here in Japan, 2011, a big earthquake happened on 11 March with a magnitude of 9.1 on the Richter scale. On the other hand, the earthquake in Nepal 2015 was very destructive with a magnitude of 7.8 on the Richter scale. Recently, on May 29, in Silet, Bangladesh, four earthquakes happened in one day with a magnitude of 3, 4.1, 2.8, and four on the Richter scale respectively. However, we have to maintain all of these earthquake safety rules differed from place to place such as in house or in shop, school or office or in vehicles. And the end part is that after an earthquake, we need to keep calm and we should help others to re reduce the earthquake description. Thank you everybody for giving us the opportunity.